Hi folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. You know, I often tell you about some of the stories that my buddy Rust and I have when we go fishing, but a lot of times I don't get to go and I'll call him to just see what's happening. And now that we, both of us have sort of revisited our past in that we're fishing for trout. We haven't for years. Rust used to fish them in Colorado and love that kind of fishing, and now he's become a musky fanatic. But lately, we've been going for trout. And he told me about his latest escapade, which actually was just yesterday. And he went to one of our, we've, we've got so many trout streams around us. And he went to the St. Regis River and he found a spot and he said he went down. He wasn't even using hip boots and he had his fly rod. And he caught three nice rainbow trout on a, a uh, olive colored woolly bugger. And now, if you don't fish with flies, that might not mean anything to you. But it's a it's a small fly that that basically looks like a bug or a leech, and it it it's it's much bigger than some of the like mosquito sized things that fly fishermen will use, and it's fished under the water. But the fish really seem to love it. But then he said he stopped getting strikes. So he took his spinning rod, and maybe maybe he actually still used his fly rod. But there's there's a, a lure that we've discovered that's not much bigger than one of these woolly buggers. It's a very, very small lure designed basically for crappies and perch. But I've found that it's incredible for trout fishing. And so Rust put that on and he started catching fish. Now, here's the real, I think, key to the story. Rust has always been a person that doesn't believe that color matters that much. And all of a sudden, he's been converted to understanding that c color can be everything. So he started with a, a, a lure, this little soft plastic lure, not any bigger than the fly that he uses. And it was in a similar color to the, to the olive color that the fly was. And he got three quick strikes. I think he caught one or two of the trout. Then he said nothing. So he went in his little bag that he bought these lures from Walmart, found another one of a different color, put it on, and bam, 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 started getting strikes, and then nothing. And he said he did this with four different colors. Then he decided to go to the other side of the river, fish a different stretch, and the same thing happened. He started, and whatever color he had on, he got two or three strikes, then nothing. Changed to a different color, same lure, same everything, and got strikes. And I think it's... It, it shows that fish, number one, learn quickly, but also they can change in their preference. They, they realize after seeing something a few times, well, we're not interested, we don't like it, put a different color on, and it, irons, it, it, it creates a different reaction from them. So I think this is a, this is a nice story. He had a wonderful time fishing, and uh, he was able to give me information that I can pass on to all of you. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.